Resources that we use for Cruz, who is in pre primary. So, these are all of the resources that we use for Cruz, who is in pre primary. So, let me give you a closer look at all the things um, that we have. Basically, um, I've kind of broke it up into little sections. I have got his main kind of core curriculum um, here that we use. And then over here, we have things that we use to help him uh, with his letters and learning the alphabet. On this side here, I have um, things that we use for writing um, and work, uh, his little workbook. And then this ginormous stack of books at the back um, are uh, books that we use for teaching um, general knowledge. But I'll explain that in the video for you. So firstly, I just want to show you um, this document and this is uh, the document that I use um, when I am planning what I'm going to do for our school for each of my children. And I believe I got this document from a um, site called Teachers Pay Teachers and I will link that um, site uh, down below and in particular, I will link this um, education goals um, down below as well. Now, um, the, uh, the lady who runs her little Teachers Pay Teachers store has put together these education goals. Um, these are for um, Australian curriculum standards. And there is one uh, kind of document for each grade, I think, uh, foundation year through to grade six. So I have one of these for each of my children. Um, and this particular one is for Cruz, who is in... Um, uh, pre-primary uh, but it cover, kind of covers the different names for the different states because I know we all kind of call uh, this um, stage of five and six year olds different things and so basically what she has done is just kind of simplified um, the curriculum uh, for you and so what I do is I get this document out and I look at it quickly um, and it just shows me the kind of things um, that the children should be working on um, in that particular year so this is just kind of like the um, introduction page um, and then she breaks it down there's two ways you can use a document she just has um, it kind of basically uh, lined out like this um, or there's um, actually a checklist section as well that goes into a little bit more um, detail uh, but generally I just kind of use um, these first two pages so I'll just set the checklist aside so basically what I do is these are the things um, that we need to work on with crews um, throughout the uh, year so this is the language um, and math skills and then this one in particular was the one I was looking at these are all the general knowledge um, skills that he needs to cover throughout the year. So he needs to, to, we need to look at living things, what things are made of, seasons, caring for the environment, um, locate Australia on a map, um, read about different places, um, and then a whole uh, bunch of things down here. So naming body parts, recognizing people I know, talking about our feelings, safe behaviours, eating well and all those kind of things. And so I look um, at this uh, sheet of um, paper and then um, this helps me form the basis of then the resources that I choose to use. So first up, uh, for uh, his language and math skills, 
We do use uh, reading eggs dot com which is absolutely fantastic i'll pop a link down there below if you haven't heard of that go and check that out that's an amazing site we use that for uh, literacy and also they have math on there as well so he does use um, reading eggs and he uh, absolutely loves that we also use i just grabbed uh, one of um, these uh, work books um, and the company is school zone um, I happen to get this from QBD Books, which is just a bookstore in my local um, shopping centre. But there are plenty of these kind of workbooks out there, um, particularly at the moment being the beginning of the school year. I find at our department stores here in Australia, like uh, particularly Target and Big W, have so many of these workbooks. And basically, I just had a look at all the workbooks there, decided which one I liked, and picked that out. And so we are using this um, giant workbook. And you can see there, it's for children um, aged four to six. And these are the things that it covers. Um, it um, Beginning sounds, identifying shape, early math, reading readiness, following directions, and a whole bunch more. And so... It's just a workbook. And on the side here, I've kind of broken it up into uh, the sections so it's easy for me to find. There's alphabets at the uh, front, shapes, numbers, math, and reading readiness. And basically we'll do kind of a page from each section on the days that we are doing um, school work. So just give you a little um, idea of what it looks like. Some of this, um, I mean, here's beyond um, this kind of stuff, but that's okay. Um, it's just, it, this is basically writing um, readiness and reading readiness. And then it pops straight into the alphabet. So that's the alphabet section. And then this is the shapes section. Just lots of um, basically hands-on activities. And then it goes into numbers. So this is um, writing numbers. Um, and then this uh, section here is just basically different um, math concepts. And he'll be ready for this kind of stuff now. Um, and then the end, we have reading readiness um, activities. So we have that book as again, as I said, there's lots of books out there um, that are just like this. And so pretty much any of those workbooks would work really, really well. I uh, also got this one. I think I got this one from Big W. Again, another school zone book, just learning to write. Um, letter recognition, printing, letters and numbers, fine motor schools, writing practice and more is the little tagline it says down there. Um, but basically this is kind of the next uh, thing that we will do after that uh, kindergarten book. It's just, this is what I was after. Much more um, writing practice is what he will begin to need, uh, need to know um, after. He is actually still working on learning all of his letters. Um, and so we have that one. I also picked up these things. Um, these few things here from Big W as well. As I said at the beginning of the school year, target Big W, and sometimes came out, bring out these kind of uh, things at the beginning of the school year, lots of spelling books, grammar work, handwriting, um, all sorts of things. And so it's a really great time to buy any resources that you need. And so I just picked up these um, flashcards um, as well um, uh, for him and for my toddler to work on. So we have this alphabet flashcards and then an alphabet match as well. I also picked up this as well. My um, older daughter will use this, but I am gonna use this for a uh, cruise as well. This is a um, magnetic uh, board and um, letters set. And I thought this was great and very inexpensive. I think only like $6 or something like that. Um, and so basically it does give you um, some information on how to um, to use that if you didn't know um, how to do it but um, basically I bought it because it has this uh, magnetic um, board I won't take that out it's stuck in at the moment it has this magnetic board in the back 
and then it has all of these if you can see that little magnetic words and so I just wanted to use this for cruise I can take these little uh, words out and then stick them on the little board or even on our big uh, whiteboard that we have that cruise likes to use and he can practice at first um, writing the words um, and then he can practice you know reading the words and then putting them um, into sentences so I really liked that and I thought that that would be quite useful uh, to use with Cruise and then also my daughter who's in grade two as well uh, will love using that. We also still um, have these letter flip books and these are from The Good and the Beautiful. We were uh, using that um, last year, um, but I decided um, not to use that um, this year. We just wanted something a little bit more simple. And so I have still kept these flip books because these are excellent. I will link these down below. I think they're a part of the curriculum set, but I'll still put the link down uh, below for you. And basically these are just um, alphabet flip books that I have printed out myself and constructed. And then he just needs to find the capital letter, the lowercase letter, and then the picture um, that begins with that um, sound. Um, and so he really enjoys um, playing with these. Um, and so there is four of them because they're just broken up um, into uh, small sections of the alphabet. So we're going to be uh, continuing to use those. I have this um, container of magnetic letters that all of my children um, actually enjoy um, playing with. I've had these for a little while. Um, I think I got them off of um, a friend of mine who actually produced these. If I can still find them online, I'll link them for you. Uh, but just they are magnetic letters. Uh, we use these on our whiteboard um, and you can do all sorts of um, activities um, with magnetic letters. Um, so they're a favorite um, in our house. Now I have these few things here um, that I will just show you that we use as well. Um, this is his little crayon box and we prefer to uh, use these little twist up um, crayons for him to use. Last year we had kind of the um, other crayons but he kept snapping them all the time and so we've gone with these um, twist up ones. Um, he uses them for writing and then transitions into using a lead pencil because he does find a pencil grip difficult still. Um, and so these, um, are a little bit thicker than a lead pencil so they're a little bit more helpful for him to start writing with and then we'll transition into using um, a lead pencil uh, for him and we have um, this little uh, white uh, not whiteboard sorry this little um, chalk board and a collection of chalks and my um, little guy he can use these to practice his letters and practice his numbers um, so we have that and I just have these um, little um, you put chalk in here and it's like a chalk pen so he can practice his grip at the same time um, if we need to do that or he can just use the um, chalk like that but these are pretty cool and I just got these with the chalkboards when I bought them and they were just from you know those little like dollar discount variety type stores that are usually all over the place and they have all sorts of weird and wonderful names that's just where I get my chalkboards and my chalk and these um, from so if you're looking for those that's where I got them from I also have this laminated piece of paper and this was actually my daughter's when she was at school. Uh, it's just uh, laminated on both sides so that you can use whiteboard markers on here and it just has the dotted thirds for him when he's practicing his letters and so he can practice writing on here so that he can get his letters uh, the correct um, size. So I find this uh, really, really helpful. And then we just have this um, art sketchbook, which is just from Kmart. Um, it has blank pages in here, but basically any work that he does that's outside of those workbooks will go in here. So he'll do artwork in here and drawing in here. And anytime uh, we do some kind of form of writing, um, what I do if I'm doing writing on paper, I actually um, print off pieces of paper that are like this um, so that he can um, practice his writing on that. And then I will just double-sided tape 
um, it into his book for him. I don't have lots of papers lying around. I all like to keep it um, contained um, in this book. So he had uh, one for kindy last year and this will be his one uh, for pre-primary. Okay, so this enormous stack of books. These books I kind of use for all of those uh, general knowledge um, subjects uh, that I showed you um, in this uh, document. Um, and so under this kind of section, uh, these are all the areas that you want to be uh, looking at um, in this foundation year of school. And now you don't necessarily have to produce work samples or do activities or anything like that. You can do, which is fun for your kids. Um, but basically what I do is I just kind of gathered, looked at this uh, general knowledge things that my son uh, needs to know and added anything else in that I would like him to know and just kind of uh, collected and gathered books um, that cover those things. And basically I will just read these books to him uh, throughout the year. And so with some of these, I stick them on the shelf and they uh, can be read as bedtime stories. And we will just read them a couple of times, you know, through um, out the year, because these are the concepts that he kind of needs to cement um, this year in his foundation year of school. And so the stack looks overwhelming, but we read uh, stories to our children every day. So really, if you think about that, it's not a lot. But I'll just give you a quick look at the books that I have selected for the general knowledge areas uh, for foundation year. Keep in mind, Cree is um, the youngest that I'm homeschooling and he does have an older brother and sister. And so he does get extra work read to him throughout um, you know, the school day because he's listening to what the older children are learning. But these things are specifically just for him in the foundation year. So he does join in with the Bible lessons that we do with the older children. Um, but this is also his Bible and I read this to him uh, generally. This will be uh, read to him at bedtime throughout this year. So um, I've had this Bible for many years. I was a teacher before I had children and this is the Bible that I used. So it is getting well worn, well worn but I love it. It's just the first um, Bible uh, stories um, and um, just set out really, really beautifully. So I'd really like him to... Um, yeah, have this kind of cemented this year, all the, these Bible stories that we talk about. So that's the Bible that we use. Children are also learning all about themselves, uh, their family and the world around them in this foundation year. And so I have this um, stack of books here um, that I use um, to teach him about who he is and who his family is. Now, keep in mind, he um, is unique. He has quite a big family because uh, he came to us through the foster care system. So he has uh, lucky enough to have two families who love him. So I teach him about that. I use this series called uh, God's Design uh, for Sex. Uh, excellent series. I've done a video on this. I'll link that below. Uh, this is talking about the story um, of me. And this is book one for ages um, three to five. Um, so we start with that one because this talks about... Um, where babies come from and it's important to teach him about that because he actually has another mummy who what is what we call his tummy mummy and so he kind of needs to understand um, why how he has two mummies and so we start with this one and then we read this is a great book um, when God made you uh, just talking about um, you know how special uh, you are uh, to the father um, so that's a really, really um, great book to um, read. Um, and then we have You Are Special by Max Licardo. We read that as well. And then um, we have uh, Me and My Family Tree. And it's just, I like this series of books. And uh, actually kind of shows what a family tree is. Even though all families look different, but kind of getting that concept of um, what we talk about when we talk about a family tree. It's not an actual tree, but this is kind of how we describe it. Uh, so I really like this series of books. As you'll see, I have some more in this series. So this is a really great one, talking about our family. And then I then go on and talk about this is the family that you live with, but then you also have this family and this is who they are. And I show him photographs and tell him stories and things like that. And then we also have um, this book as well. Um, which is a book about adoption. It's called We Choose You, a book about adoption, family and forever love uh, by Tony and Lauren Dungy. This was new out last year and it is excellent. It um, 
it's really great for my little boys um, talking about um, how they're still fiercely loved, uh, even though they weren't born into our family. So it's a really great book. So that's uh, unique to our situation, but that's the book that we um, use as well. And again, these storybooks we'll read several times throughout the year and even into next year until he really kind of has this concept of who he is and his family down pat. And so these are, yes, we won't do activities from these. We might draw a family tree, but these are just books that we will read um, all throughout the year, um, learning about who he is um, and who his family is. We also, um, I'll go through this step now. We have, uh, so, so remember I said it's about learning about who he is, who his family is and the world around him. Um, and this is another book from this um, series that I use, um, Me on the Map. And um, so this um, is looking at, this is me, this is my home, this is my community, this is my state, this is my country, this is my world. Um, so that's a great one. And then, me and my place in space and just that kind of came same concept and then talking about space space is always a fun uh, subject to look at um, in foundation year as well we read this story all through the year um, which is a great book for looking at um, how the seasons change throughout the year and also what kind of activities we are doing um, during that time this is an Australian book um, and it's beautifully illustrated. So this is another story uh, that we include um, in our, our readings um, when we're talking about learning about the seasons of the year. This is a great book um, that we use about learning about the world around us. This is an Osborne book, my very first Our World book. And I love Osborne books. We have quite a few of them. And so this book um, is really good. This is teaching him about the world, basically, um, in a friendly, sorry, in a chart, you know, his age kind of way. So we're talking about the earth, talking about seasons, um, and then the different uh, things in the uh, that the earth are made up of. And so this is a fun book. We really like that one. And then we also use this Lift the Flat Picture Atlas, who really likes Lift the Flat Books. Um, and this is just um, an atlas. And so obviously with my older children, we are talking about the world in different countries and different places. And so he's listening to that. And so then this is a fun little atlas that he can use uh, while we're talking about different places and he can sit and have a look. And I can uh, also uh, read and share this book with him as well. So that's a really, really good one. We have another Osborne book, um, the Osborne Big Book of the Body. This is a really great one. And again, we're teaching in this foundation year all about who you are and about your body. And so this is another great book. Um, we used this last year as well for the older children. Um, and so we'll just use it again for a cruise. It's just, you know, got lots of, <laughs> lots of pages. As it says, it's a big book, so all the pages kind of lift out. But we'll just read this together, looking at our bodies. And again, in the general knowledge section, uh, we'll be using this. Cruz loves all things the ocean. His favourite things, the octonauts. And so um, when I saw this, I thought he would actually like this. So it's just a sticker activity book that we will do together uh, when the older children are doing their geography lessons. This will be like a little geography book um, that he can, um, he can do while the kids are doing their geography lessons. And then I put this book in here as well. We, I use this for my older children. Uh, but this is excellent uh, for any age children. And Cruz really likes this. This is called The Wonderland of Nature by Miri Mass. And this is an, an Australian nature book. And so it goes through um, um, all of the insects, plants, um, and animals um, that you find in Australia. And so those kind of uh, topics are super interesting for children at this age as well. So there's the contents page. There's a lot of insects. Um, few other small animals, plants, the seashore and remarkable everyday things. And this is a living book. Um, so it's told um, as a story. And so um, crew will join in on reading these stories when I do read them to the older children. But um, this is an excellent book for this foundation age as well. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by clicking the red subscribe button down below. I put videos out every Monday and I do book flip throughs every Friday as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Silliness. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you did it! You did it! <laughs> <laughs>